hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today i have my special guest today <laughs> i know you guys love having him on this channel so we decided to create this video um i asked my instagram followers uh to ask us some questions so we're gonna do like a q a today um i feel like we didn't do q a for a while i think yeah, the last one yeah the last one we did like life updates and we still lived in the old house so oh wow it's been like yeah, yeah quite, a few months. quite a few months yeah. and then we had quite a few changes in our lives so i figured <laughs> to say the you, least yeah, yeah it's been a roller coaster of emotions and everything so we decided to make uh this video answer your guys questions but before we start this video i wanted to um introduce you the sponsor for this video is the brand called vita cap and it's the mushroom supplement capsules so they're gluten free they're paleo friendly they're 100 percent vegan also they're made in the usa and they are non-gmo i'll be taking the supplements when i'm done with breastfeeding in a few months but preston has been trying them for the past few weeks so yes. he's gonna be talking about that thank you <laughs> now yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know she was gonna have me talk about it right now but hey i'm glad to talk about it right now it's been great so I started a new job and the first uh, first week or so I found myself like uh, getting energy drinks afterwards because I was just kind of dragging. Yeah, his job, he's, he has to get up around 2.30 in the morning and be at work around 3 o'clock. So it's been really early ups for him. Yeah, it's been a big difference, big change. And, I, and we have a baby, like a newborn baby in the bedroom. So the baby wakes up quite a bit in the at night. So he doesn't get like uninterrupted sleep throughout the night so it's been crazy lack of energy for the boss for uh both of us yeah but um but yeah so i started taking the uh, vita cap and uh i mean what i noticed was i started like uh feeling the energy without having to have the uh, energy drinks and then when i got home i wasn't dragging as much i mean i got home i was still ready to go i was still like just okay i'll uh, take over the kids because i mean she had been with the kids and the baby all day and so uh, I was like, okay, well, let me let me take over for you. You take a break, and uh, and I'll, you know, uh, take over with the kids. Let that um, this brand actually offered us to um, try their capsules, and they have a different uh, supplement. So this is just one of the. Can I see the bottle? Sure. So this mushroom, I think, is called uh, cordyceps, or this this particular supplement is called cordyceps but they have different types of mushrooms for different types of things so for like immune system boost and like you know uh, cardiovascular support and things like that so this one is particularly for energy endurance and performance and i feel like um he saw a difference and i've been noticing difference yeah. because um after his work he still has to like finish up some project like paint things here and there that i mm -hmm. ask and I feel like uh, yeah, but, but we we don't rely only on this supplement. He also tries to go to bed early, like at eight o'clock when we put kids to bed. We try so uh, you know things get done before that, so he can go to bed earlier. But I feel like it was like a little bit of help on top of you know yeah. of everything else we do to adjust to this new lifestyle. So yeah, this is the sponsor for this program, this program on TV. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'll post the link down below and discount code so you can guys check it out. So now back to Q&A. Uh, we asked you to ask us some questions on Instagram and this is the questions you guys are more interested in. Okay, so the first question, how did you two meet? I bet we answered that. Yeah, we already, we already talked about it in like previous videos. But we met at the airport. He used to work uh, at the airport and he was helping me um to check in for my flight and help me with my luggage because i was flying to our city after a little people convention a long time ago mm -hmm. so yeah and then we kind of stayed in touch on facebook for like a weekend and came back the next week yeah and i came back the next and the week. cool thing about it was i wasn't even uh, scheduled to work that day it was it was a it was my day off and i was working for someone and she happened to stroll through the yeah. airport uh, on that same day. Yep, and he even made a joke to his nephew <laughs> that I'm gonna be his auntie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that sarcastic joke. 
<laughs> sarcastic. Who's, who's laughing now? <laughs> but yeah, this the is the baby's laughing now. Yeah, I know the baby's <laughs> laughing now. All right, the next question: Do you guys want to have more kids? Nope. You done? <laughs> <laughs> The reason I think he's he was done after twins, honestly. He kept telling me that maybe we can wait and have another one, but I feel like he was honestly done after two. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, I and think we're done. Reason, yeah, we got I a little girl, done. so yeah. But I feel like maybe in 10 years, when I start missing that newborn stage again, <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna wrap it up real quick. Yep. Are you teaching your children to be bilingual? To be honest with you, not really. But my mom is here full time right now, so she's actually speaking Russian with them. So they repeat a lot of her words and they understand a lot of it. But specifically, we don't. We didn't look for Russian uh, daycare. We, did, we don't have Russian school nearby. So it's kind of a... And I speak English with them. Just for me, it's... I don't know why, but... It's easier for me just to speak English with them, just to make sure they understand. But my mom has been, you know, such a big help with, with their bilingual yeah. I mean, development. They, they actually try to speak to her. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's gib yeah. gibberish. It's gibberish, and they think yeah. They're, and they think they're speaking yeah. uh, in Russian to her, but yeah. Yeah, especially when they hear me talking to her in Russian. <laughs> they're trying to be a part of conversation, but it makes no sense. So, yeah. How is it having a girl other than the boys? Okay. I spoil her. I'm, I've already, she has me wrapped around her little finger already. Uh, I'd say from like day one. And with our twins, um, I, was, I was very strict about having them sleep with us in the bed because I was like, no, I don't want to start that. I don't want to start, you know, because it'll, it, it'll just be a habit and they'll want to sleep in there every night. Well, and now she's sleeping in our bed, and it is a habit. <laughs> and it's my fault. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just our both fault because I feel like having twins is a lot just because we were up so much, and I feel like it would be impossible. First of all, it would be impossible to have them in our bed. Yeah. We had like a queen size bed now, uh, back then, so we wouldn't even fit them in our bed. You know, so they would have space around them, you know. I mean, we barely fit. <laughs> we barely <laughs> fit one baby, and now we have like a She takes over the bed, yeah. She does, she takes over. We put her in the middle, we kind of put all the pi you know pillows and the blankets away so she doesn't have any like loose fabrics around her. But somehow, we both wake up or, like on the on edges edge, of yeah. the bed because, uh, yeah, she just keeps scooching and scooching and scooching. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Why did the show end and will there be more seasons in the future? I can answer that one. Um, I, I don't know. The show ended because uh, because of the pandemic for the most part. We started filming season 9. We filmed one episode and then the pandemic shut down everything. And I think later on it was just too... It was just too long of a break. Because before that we were on break for like 6 months or so. And then pandemic was year and a half so by the time everything opened back up just too many things happened like Tara had a baby Christy had a divorce and she had a baby that you know didn't survive and a lot happened so it would be very hard to like Jump fill in, in yeah, yeah to f yeah exactly so I don't think that show will be back I don't know maybe there will be more projects uh, for me or for the girls I don't know who knows but as of right now, the show is probably over. How have the boys suggested to being big brothers? They love it. Yeah, they love Especially, it. Especially, uh, I mean, Cairo, he's always talking about his, his how beautiful his baby sister is. Um, uh, Xavier's always telling everybody, you know, anybody like on the, on the streets or wherever he, whoever he meets that he has a baby sister. Um, and they're very loving to her. They always wanna like, Kind of stand around and just look at her and help out. Um, yeah, yeah, they, they're they're good little big brothers. Yeah, they love they love her. Mm -hmm. The next question is: Are you planning on updating the condo? We've yeah. already started. Yeah. Yeah, she started. She started me. Yeah, 
Uh, even even on the day of delivery of the baby, he he was painting because yeah. I had to to leave for so I had appointment uh, like a, in the morning, and they told me go back home, uh, pack your bags, and we're doing C section later on. And I told him, okay, we're doing um, like it was C section a week earlier than it's supposed to be. So I called him and I'm like, we're doing the C section today instead of the next week. So. But please, she already please, had the, please continue painting. Yeah, she already had me on a yeah. project. Yeah, I'm like, please, don't worry, continue painting. I would really like to come back home from the hospital with the baby when the walls are all white and not gray. So, yeah, even on the day. So, so we yeah, were... So, white walls, so we have white walls Yeah. Now he, he painted and we left late and then we were late a little bit for the section. So, they ended up, you know, waiting a little bit longer for us. So, anyway. But we got the walls was, painted. I got the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Is Aurora a little person? Uh, so we don't know yet because uh, we did her um, blood test, but it takes a few weeks to get the results. Um, basically, I did the uh, blood work and it took them a very long time to figure out what's like what gene carries that dwarfism mutation. So. And then they basically for the kids it's a little bit easier because they compare their DNA to mine and then they find like specifically the gene that has a mutation in my DNA they specifically look in that gene for them so it shouldn't be too long but right now we don't know yet with my type of dwarfism um, until the kids are about two or three years old around two years old that's when you start seeing the growth difference mm -hmm. but yeah <coughs> Do you plan to get a job now that the show is over? Um, yes, so I've been in school for the past two years since, the, since before the pandemic for the interior design. So I've been getting my associate degree. I only have uh, four classes left, which are general education classes. So I did already all of the interior uh, design classes for the associate degree. Um, I didn't wanna take any classes this semester because I just had a baby and I didn't know I had a baby August 26th and then the semester started August 28th. So I didn't know how crazy it will be with the kids and the, with the baby and the twins. Yeah. So I'm going to finish up my school probably the next semester. And um, yeah, I've been looking for a job. But right now um, I'm just busy with the kids and with the baby. And YouTube is kind of my, uh, my main job right now. And he just got a new job a few weeks ago. So that's been working out. So mm -hmm. we're just, you know, taking it one day at a time. Right now I'm focusing on the baby and I'm very uh, grateful that you guys watch these videos and support me because it really helps. This is kind of a, my main job right now. Okay, your mom was very helpful to you and Preston. Is she thinking of moving to America or does she love Russia too much? Uh, well, last time she stayed here for about a year and seven months because of the pandemic and everything was shut down. It was not very safe to, you know, travel back to Russia. But right now she just came here a couple months ago and I feel like, was it already three months ago? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like she's going to stay here at least till next spring and we'll see. Because right now it's a little bit like too many COVID cases in Russia and although she has been vaccinated, I feel like it's safer for her to stay here and um, she's help, She's a big help with the baby and just with everything here. So, yeah. Plus in Russia, it's winter time. Right now it's fall and it's gonna be winter. So none of us really like winter. So it's much better when she like stays here rather than being in the cold and the snow and all that jazz. Plus, yeah. I mean, it's like there's gonna be people with colds. You don't know if it's gonna be cold or COVID. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's just better if she's out here during the winter. Yeah. Plus, well, it's better for us. Yep. Will you ever take your family on vacation to Russia? <laughs> he he doesn't want to visit Russia. He doesn't care for it. I, I mean, I have nothing against Russia, but I, I just, uh, I have no desire to, to really go there. We'll go there one day. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. We'll go there one day. Yeah. When the kids are a little bit older and when they understand, I feel like it will be an interesting adventure, but not anytime soon anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be interesting for them yeah. and, and me. Uh, it's just that I, as far as the desire to go, it's just not there. From everything that she's told me, it's, it's always led to 
not so great for some reason. It has. It, it's just my mentality. Everything okay. is okay there. It's just that the way I talk about it, it's like, I mean, yes, it's cold. So what? And gray <laughs> and just... There's there's just been a lot of things. I mean, it could be a positive story. Oh, you know, we um, for the summers I had we we used to spend it, you know, on the farm and everything. <laughs> they they named their what goat and stuff like that. And next thing you know, they're eat, they're eating it. No, they made a rug out of it. When they I made a up, rug out of it. Yeah, my grandparents they had they goats had a and pet then they goat. were pet goat. And then one morning I wake up and I go. It's like in the house in the country. And the baby woke up, yep. and yeah, you, I just woke out, and there's a rug, maybe out of goat. this goat. Yeah, but I mean, it's the village. Like that. But that's why they, they have goats. They milk, and they get milk, and then they eat meat, <laughs> and it's like normal life. So anyway. But she named it. Yep. <laughs> On this positive note, I think we should wrap it up because the baby just woke up, so we need to get her. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for uh, staying tuned, for watching this video. Uh, please give your thumbs up and we'll make more videos like this. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. We really appreciate that. And until the next time, we'll see you guys soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.